not just surviving but flourishing because of these two products, coconut and areca nut. Of course, our productivity is still low and much more can be done. The administration is pushing the National Horticulture Mission and we have specifically designed a convergence program for Nicobar for the Coconut Mission, which has taken up work in Car Nicobar and now is being extended to Teresa. And this is the area that we have to really focus on to create value in the economy. Linked to this is our emphasis on organic farming. Organic farming is not just good for the environment or to get marks from environmentalists. It's good for our health and it's also good for the farmer since an organic produce has much higher value in the market than other produce. Even now in the big cities like Delhi and Bombay, shops have opened up which sell organic vegetables and the price is one and a half to two times the price of the vegetables outside and people still buy it just to rely on the fact that no chemicals are used. Our coconut in Nicobar is completely organic. In fact, as an expert told me, the highest rating of organic farming is jungle, which means it has never been touched. The Nicobar coconut qualifies for that. So we have in that sense, as I said, tremendous hidden resources. Our fisheries resources always talked about tremendous potential. Somehow we have not seen to be done as well on it. There are two very good reasons for it. One, of course, is that our coastal fisheries sources are limited. Our main resources are deep sea fishing, which requires tremendous capital and technology. So that is holding it back. Now with the tuna mission and other activities, it is possible to suddenly make a quantum jump in the field of fisheries. And we look to the day when Andaman shall be the base of these deep sea trawlers, shall be the base of the crew, crew recruited from these islands, and the first stage processing can be done in the Andaman Islands, creating jobs in the economy.